and respond to actions and no contact, not words. Client came to me. She had been dating this guy for the last two years. And anytime she would go to her in-laws house, they would say some kind of snide remark about her career or her weight. And she had it. She went up to her partner multiple times and she said, if you want to get married, if you actually see a future with us being together, I can't do this. I can't put up with this. She finally came to me and she said, I don't know what to do. I don't want to sacrifice this relationship. What do you recommend? And I told her, when there are no consequences for your mistreatment, that's an invitation for disrespect and that ends today. You're not going to another dinner. And she kind of freaked out and she said, I haven't missed a single dinner over the course of our entire relationship. I can't just do that. I said, can't or won't. Because it looks like what you're really avoiding here is the emotional discomfort of standing up for yourself. And that can be fixed through emotional regulation. And I'm going to teach you. So I give her her workbook and I'm teaching her how to regulate her emotions. And finally, the next family dinner rolls around and he's getting ready and she's not. She's on the couch watching TV and he said, hey, aren't you gonna get ready for the family dinner? She said, I'm not going. And he said, well, we're gonna go to that restaurant that you like. And she said, a free meal doesn't make up for the disrespect. Have fun though. His behavior changed real quick after that. You become powerful when you learn how to regulate your emotions instead of avoid them and act in alignment with the standards you have set for yourself.